prosperity and growth. He also spoke about the changes he is bringing about and why he is bringing about. He spoke about the manpower being available in India and it not being suitable for the job openings there. Whereas we have manpower in the West which is available, technically qualified, but they don't have jobs. So it's a mismatch there and the need to train maybe 16 million peop uh, youngsters to be able to get uh, qualified for jobs. We had Mr. Milka Singh who recounted his history about the Olympic medal that he nearly lost and how he's, uh, you know, he basically said hard work is the key and he talked to the parents here, you know, he basically said hard work is the key and he talked to the parents here asking them to make sure that they put their children in the sports field and not set back and he gave his own family as a record where his son has also gone into sports, is a golfer, a world renowned and both are Padam Padam Bhushans. We also had in the morning Mr. Jagannath Pahadia. He spoke again about the work Rotary does in the communities. He was very much aware of what Rotary has been doing. He has come to an earlier project or two and uh, he emphasized the need to get out to the villages and get those people involved and that what we would, were happy to tell him that yes Rotary is already doing that. But our prime focus is eradication of polio. This is a project that Rotary started in 1985 on its own. In 88, both the UNICEF and WHO got together and thereafter, by 1995, we could get a resolution in the World uh, Health Assembly asking all the countries of the world to join together. And thereafter, the progress made has been tremendous. We are 1,000 children every day would be crippled with polio 1,000 children every day in the year 1985. It is down to just 40 children in India this year. This the purpose of organi organizing this is to let the delegates be aware of what the other clubs are doing. We had an exhibition outside what the other clubs were doing. We had a, a state of the uh, district about what all the clubs are doing. So that everybody is aware of what the others are doing. So there is a continuity of effort and there is a continuity of thought and working. Because the needs of the society are about the same. Sometimes if you are living in a certain area, you may not be focused on particular needs. But whereas when you all get together and you exchange notes, it helps you to learn from better practices of the other and implement that in your own community.